The Indian Navy has rejected the American F-A-18 and has opted for the French Rafale Marine and as per media reports, the government-to-government -government deal for 26 Rafale Marine can be signed during the upcoming visit of French President Emmanuel Macron to New Delhi in March. A detailed report of the trials by F-A-18 and Rafale Marine was submitted to the Defence Ministry in December, and the report from the Naval Headquarters mentioned that the Rafale Marine met all criteria. The French Navy operates 240 Rafale Marine aircraft, and the French Navy have offered to transfer some aircraft from its own naval fleet, to ensure that the Indian Navy can train and operate them faster. In order to conclude the deal in March, the price negotiations will have to start in the coming weeks. India has issued an OTAM warning for a launch of a missile in the Bay of Bengal, for the period from 12th to 14th January, and the designated length is 650 km, and it could be the longer duration test of the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. The DRDO is developing two long-range hypersonic cruise missiles with 2,500 km range under Project Vishnu, and both the anti-ship variant and land attack variant missiles are expected to enter service by 2024. An air-launched hypersonic cruise missile of 700 km range will also be developed, that will be launched from frontline fighter jets. The DRDO is developing robots that can carry ammunition rations and other equipments or the load for an entire group in action, to help relieve physical strain on troops during operations. The program's goal is to create a robot that could traverse the same terrain as the team without interfering with the team's mission. The robots will be equipped with artificial intelligence, and can follow soldiers' speed in any terrain, and even avoid obstacles without the soldier's input. It can also transport personnel back to base, or serve as load carriers during operations. The DRDO has issued an expression of interest seeking a development come production partner for aircraft arrest or gear, that will be designed to ensure that tactical military aircraft can stop on the runway during landing roll, or after a high-speed rejected takeoff. The arresting systems will be installed at both ends of runway, and can safely bring an aircraft to a stop, whenever a pilot feels it is unsafe to stop the aircraft on his power. The Indian Institute of Technology Madras has teamed up with the DRDO, and is operating a research center with the DRDO to develop advanced defense technologies, related to electronics and computational systems, naval systems and naval technologies, advanced combat vehicle technologies, high-power continuous wave laser sources, and next-generation communication and networking technologies. Bharat Electronics Limited and Japan's Toshiba Corporation have joined hands to co-develop lithium-ion battery packs for various defense applications. It's not clear which weapons system will get this lithium-ion battery, but replacing conventional lead-acid batteries on missile systems with lighter lithium-ion batteries will prolong their life, and will also reduce the space and weight of the missile systems. The Indian Defence Secretary visited Goa Shipyard Limited, where he inaugurated the Virtual Reality Centre, which is a cutting-edge facility that will provide designers with an immersive experience in incorporating customer requirements at the drawing board itself, resulting in significant savings and increased design efficiency. Oh,